NPA says photographs of the Eugene Tablanche murder scene leaked onto Facebook could constitute contempt of court. And National Police Commissioner Becky Ene has told Parliament that he's worried about the recent spate of child murders in Cape Town. I'm Richard Brooks. The National Prosecuting Authority, NPA, says photographs of the Eugene Tablanche murder scene leaked onto Facebook could constitute contempt of court. The photos allegedly appeared on a Facebook profile called Bure Crisis Axi. The Tablanche family is outraged at the news that the pictures were posted in the midst of the criminal trial underway in the Circuit High Court in Fentersdorp in the northwest. Here's NPA spokesperson Matunsi Maha. If what um, I'm told is true, clearly the person that posted those pictures on Facebook, it's showing total disrespect of the proceedings that are currently underway, and his actions border on contempt of court as the matter is subject of judicial determination and defeating the ends of justice because some of the exhibits have not yet even been presented in a court of law as part of our evidence. National Police Commissioner Becky Ene has told Parliament that he's worried about the recent spate of child murders in Cape Town. This week, four children were murdered in the greater Cape Town area. Earlier this week, two Kailicha girls, a four- and an eight-year-old, were found murdered. A three-year-old boy from Guguletu was found murdered inside a suitcase. Yesterday, the body of a baby was found in a dustbin near City Hall. Emma says this is such a worrying trend that extra resources might be deployed. Cape Town is worrying when it comes to kids. It is, it is a worrying trend. We are trying to find out what are our answers on this kind of thing. Uh, people uh, even think that uh, we need to mobilize extra resources in terms of sociologists and psychologists. What is, what is this thing in Western Cape? Two people have been killed in separate incidents south of Durban. In the first incident, the body of a 36-year-old man was discovered on the N2 at Winkle Spreit near Amanzan Toti. Police spokesperson Colonel Jay Nikas says the man was found strangled. Nikas says the motive for this murder is unknown. It was uh, established that there were signs of strangulation. From this stage of our investigation, it's been established that the deceased or was travelling in a vehicle belonging to his employer. Catch the latest news anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.